Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Rachel and I'm a fashion reseller online. I sell on multiple platforms to include Poshmark and Mercari. If you're someone who's a reseller and you're looking for content all about reselling, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you here on my channel. So today we're going to talk about a new company called Flip. This is an app that is on your phone, makes it super easy and convenient to use, and I'm going to tell you all about the company. This video is sponsored by them. They did reach out to me and asked if I would uh, just do this video for you guys. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is talk about the company Flip app that is specifically for resellers. Um, it does cater towards us, which is awesome. And um, it's a way that we can source inventory that is the easiest possible way because you don't have to leave the house. How many resellers go to thrift stores and we sift through clothing and it takes hours to find one or two items? Me, every day. So as much as I love to shop, sometimes I do look for better ways to source, especially right now during the pandemic when there's really, um, you know, you don't want to be getting out in the crowds. You don't want to be going to thrift stores. I've probably only been to a thrift store three or four times this year. I have not been out much. So I've had to change my uh, ideas and ways of sourcing. So I've definitely been sourcing online. I've also sourced locally by consignment. Flip is actually very similar. It is, it definitely works. Um, a commission is is utilized uh, and it's definitely a consignment type business so um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the company how it works and then I'm going to show you up on the screen um, a screen shot or a screen video of my phone of how you come about getting the app and how everything works in the app so if that sounds like something you're interested in keep watching So how Flip works is it is a commission company. Many people don't have time to list items to sell. Many people, you know, have busy lifestyles. They work full time. They have really nice things in their closets, been sitting there for years. They haven't worn them, but they just don't have the time or the patience or to sell these items on Poshmark. Plus, they don't have that um, built-in clientele already either. They're going to start with zero followers. So what this company does is it links and matches us resellers to potential clients who have things in their house that they need to get rid of and um, they want to do it the quickest way possible. So what Flip does is they are kind of the middle person. They have this really easy to use app. Clients can upload lots and resellers can go and we can apply for those lots. So what's really awesome is no one has to pay any money up front. Like we don't pay anything. How freaking awesome is that? So um, resellers don't pay any money up front. We can just go on the app. We can apply for the lots. Uh, and then also the clients who are trying to sell their items, the only thing that they have to cover is the shipping. So the shipping uh, to ship the lot to the reseller is a $9 flat fee um, that Flip actually goes ahead and pays for. So the client doesn't actually pay that $9 until something sells out of their lot. I have not yet gotten a lot, so I'm going to do a follow-up video after I um, introduce this one because I think I can't be 100% transparent about the company until I've actually received a lot and sold it. So yeah, this is going to be definitely at least a two-part series, maybe even three parts uh, to show what happens after sales. That is how Flip works. Pretty easy. Um, I'm going to go through the steps on how you find lots and how you get potential customers and clients. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into the app. So this is actually an app for your phone. They do not have a website. Um, so if you have a smartphone, you'll need to download it. Um, I'm going to do a screen video so you guys can see how to go about getting the app and all the different features. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we are going to click on the app store. And then from here, you're going to search and the word is F-L-Y-P. So flip F-L-Y-P, enter, and it should be the first one that pops up. It's the very top with the black um, background. So I'm going to click open. I already have it downloaded. All right, so this is the screen you're going to see when you first download it. Um, it is going to ask you some questions so you can fill out all of your settings. So we're going to do that first. So on the top left, there is a little person. You're going to click on that. So this is where you're going to want to pitch yourself to potential clients. You're going to put in there, um, and this is just what I did. You can do something similar, but I just put what my name was, uh, how long I've been a reseller, the um, platforms that I do sell on, and it actually has a place for you to add the platforms down at the bottom, um, which is really great. Because 
because then potential clients can click on your closet and see that you're a legit person and you're a legit company that does make sales. So um, I really liked that. I'm sure that um, as a client, they probably really do appreciate seeing that. Um, so I just put in there, I'd be happy to sell your items for you. Um, leave the customer service, storing, packing, and shipping to me. Rest assured, I will provide the best customer service to my clients. Thank you for the opportunity to sell your items. So that's what I did, kind of short and sweet, but I did explain myself and just explained uh, what pl platforms I sell on. I did put on there how much I've sold on Poshmark, and I put on there my Poshmark uh, closet name. So you can adjust that. There's the button that you can change all of that. Alrighty, so here we are. We just went over the settings and how you that you um, make that. So I'm going to go over the three or four little tabs at the top. So the very first is ongoing. So these are going to be the um, lots that are available for you to apply for. The next one is going to be your apply. So as you can see, I've applied for a few lots here of different various items. And then I'm going to have, and then you have a saved option. So this is where you, you know, I've looked at certain lots. You've thought about uh, maybe applying, but you're not really sure yet. You need to do some research. Um, so that's where those are saved. And then help, which is a really great tool. There's um, a lot of like question and answer things that you can click on and how it works. How you set your commission and stuff like that. So we're going to go back and I'm going to tell you. Let's see here. Ongoing. I'm going to show you how everything works so it's super easy to follow. So the first thing we're going to do is right here, we're going to skip the browse lots because I want to talk about commission, how things are delivered, and stuff like that. So we're going to click on apply to sell on commission and how to set your commission because that's really important. So it says, as a pro seller, you have the freedom to set your commission for each lot. The commission you must set must be all-inclusive. So what that means is Poshmark takes 20%. So if you have something listed for say $50, Poshmark is already going to take 20% of that. So if you're doing a 50-50 conversion, like if you're doing a 50-50 commission rate, you need to take an account for that Poshmark is going to take 20%. Um, it says depending on the overall value of the lot, we recommend that you set it between 30 and 50%. Um, I do 50% just because it's average. Um, and what that means is you don't want to be getting lots that have items that are only going to sell for like $20 because to me it's not worth my time to sell something for $20. I would get 10 because I would get half and the Poshmark would take out 20% as well. So. Um, definitely keep that in mind. I definitely look for things that are going to sell probably at least $50 or higher. Um, so that's how you do the commission. I'm going to show you when you apply for a lot how you do the commission as well. How lots are delivered. We're going to click on that. It says we will provide a shipping label for the clients who mail the items to you. The items will arrive in one box. Shipping is free for you. A $9 uh, fee will be deducted from the client's future lot profit to cover the shipping expenses. So once again, everything is done and it's all free for you to do. So you're not putting in any money, which I personally really, really like that. So, okay. Now the very last thing says make sales and split the profit with clients. As a pro seller, you will pay your client on an item basis, meaning when one item sells, you pay them. You don't wait till the whole lot has sold. Uh, you do it one at a time. Uh, it says whenever an item is sold and the funds are received from the buyer, you can use Flip's in-app payment feature to pay your client their share in one tap. You can manage all your payments easily from the payments tab. Uh, and then they also have a one tap payment that you can set up. So. Um, all right, so let's go back to this screen and let's look at some lots. So you're going to click on the browse lots and hit uh, search. So if there's a blue dot by um, the lot, then that means it's new. It means you haven't viewed it yet. So as you can see, I have some that I have viewed and I have some that I have not viewed. Um, and from here, you can just click. Now you can filter by brands. So like I like to look for Lululemon because I personally love to sell it and I actually love to buy it too. Uh, so let's look up Lululemon. So it brought up four different lots that have Lululemon in the lots. So I'm just going to click on this bottom one. So this one has Hollister, Nike, Tommy Hilfiger, and then a Lululemon. Me personally, I would not bid on this just because Hollister and Nike don't have a high enough resale value. And then there's also some smaller sizes. So I would pass on that. We're all different. We all have different parameters and things that we, we like. So let's click on this one. This one has 
two Lululemon uh, pants, size 12, which is a good size, a Burberry bag, Gucci sunglasses, a North Face jacket, Adidas. Okay, so now this one has Gucci, Tory Burch, True Religion. This is a pretty decent lot. So if you'll notice up at the top, it says applications received. They've had seven people apply for that lot, which is really cool for you to know like which lots seem to be, be getting viewed more. So as you can see, the first one we clicked on. So as you see with this one, they have zero applications. So it sounds like all the other resellers are kind of in the same boat. We think that, you know, it's it's really not worth for us to sell these items. Okay, so if you're looking at a lot and you do decide, hey, I think I really want to try to sell this lot. All right, so this is the lot we were just looking at and let's go ahead and click apply to sale. So at the top, it's gonna say, use this space to pitch yourself, explain how you work and set expectations. Um, so here it says, um, you can load your previous message. It just says, I would love to sell your items. I've been a reseller on Poshmark for two and a half years. Feel free to check out my closet. Thank you for your consideration. So that's just kind of something simple and quick. Now here's where you need to be very, very careful about how you're doing this is the estimated resale value and how to price lots. So it talks here, it says, understand that the lot resale value means it's the value you believe the lot will sell for before applying commission. Your client expects to get paid the lot resale value minus the commission you set. Understand that this range means because the market fluctuates and you can't promise an exact number, use the range field to give an estimated range for which you are, you are confident that the lot will sell. Base it off of recently sold items. That is the biggest key if you don't take away anything from this make sure you're basing it on sold comps if you're basing it on um things that are currently for sale those are all over the place you have the people that are just trying to get rid of it so it's priced low you have the people that are like me and they're trying to make a profit and they maybe have it priced a little bit higher so you need to make sure that you're basing it on sold only so when you go into poshmark you would just simply type in the brand you would try to find that exact style and color and then you can sort it by sold that's going to give you an so what I do is I um, I will add 10, maybe 10 of all of those together, divide it by 10, and that'll give you the average price that it's sold for. And then I use that number to um, enter into this. So I'm going to show you exactly how you do that. It says, don't price lots too high. Keep it on the conservative side. It's always better to under-promise and over-deliver than over-promise and under-deliver. Increasing the resale value to win the lot will result in a negative client feedback. Offer set only set a lot value that you're confident of. Think of it as a promise that you want to deliver on. It's okay if not exactly accurate. No one can predict the, the market. It says try to make the most educated estimate based on comps. Okay, so if you're a reseller, you already know how to look up comps, so hopefully that will be pretty easy. But what I like is you itemize each item. Now I will say they are next month, they're making it a little bit easier for people to uh, negotiate and come up with estimates. So um, instead of having to go in and fill all of this out, it will match you. So like if you have certain items and certain lots that you have bid on in the past, um, it will match you up with someone who has the same type of items and it's just easier to find that particular client. So from here, it has each item. So the first item is this pair of Lululemon pants. Um, and I know personally, Lululemon pants can go anywhere from 25 up to 55, really depending on if they're rare and what size they are. Usually 35 is probably about what it's going to sell for in my um, experience. So I've already done the research. This is the Lululemon size 12. For my minimum, I would put, let's see, I would put 25 to 35. So it has a range, a range. So that way if it does sell for, say, 29 then you're good to go um, when you list it for 35 it also gives you a little bit of room to accept offers as well uh, so yeah I do a range same with this one I'll do 25 to 35 oh here we go 25 to 35 and then I'm going to just move down I don't know much about Burberry so I'd have to research and come up with some comps on that same same with Gucci North Face will probably uh let's see is it just a, okay it's a coat so I would assume that would probably sell between 45 and 65. I would have to do some research, but that is how you fill it out. And once you've done all of that, it will come up with a amount here at the top. It says total, and that's the amount that the items will sell for. Um, and then it will actually go ahead and subtract for 50% commission here in just a minute. If you type in 50 over here in the, uh, 
parentheses it tells you what they're gonna make so after you're done filling it out that's what they would make so you're gonna set it for 50 50 um, and you have 90 days to sell I don't think I've mentioned that before but it does give you 90 90 days to sell your items uh, and if you don't anything you don't sell you just send back to them um, so that is how it works bidding on a lot so I'm going to show you my uh, applied lots so I've applied for this one right here uh, it shows all the items that were in her lot and then I can actually edit the application as well if I need to change some parameters. But that is how you bid on the items. So now I'm going to go over a few questions that I actually asked. We had a uh, conference call. It went really well. Um, and I did just ask some questions. So, so one of my questions was how does Flip make money? Because if it's free for me to use and it's free for the client to use, how does Flip make a profit? And he said right now they're not. He said right now that they uh, are just working things out. Eventually they probably will take a chunk of what either we're making or the client is making uh, in the future but he said it wouldn't be a lot um, but yeah for now it's free which is awesome it's a perfect time for you to give it a try one of the questions I asked was if you received a lot in the mail and the items are not as described uh, what do you do so he said it doesn't happen very often because when the client is filling out um, the lot form he said that they only accept certain brands so you're not going to be seeing target brands walmart brands you know you're not going to be seeing a lot of those brands on there um, and then they do have to go through and fill out the condition that the items are in so he said it's very rare that you get something in that um, is not as described but if that does happen uh, flip will actually send you a label for you to return those items so when items don't sell so let's say you you know you got a lot and you only sold a half of this stuff after the 90 days uh, you would just send those items you did not sell back to the customer and flip sends you that shipping label as well so I did ask him about authenticating things because I'm not as familiar with some of the designers like Gucci I just I've never come across that where I live here in Tennessee uh, and so I, I did ask about that he said uh, everything that comes through flip usually the people that work there authenticate things they flag the things that they're like no this is fake uh, but it is up to you to authenticate the item so if it comes in and you're kind of iffy about it um, you know there are different companies that will authenticate things I will say that Macari if you are listing something you can get it authenticated for five dollars um, which is great that's just kind of peace of mind for you as a reseller so uh, I definitely encourage you to authenticate items if you're not sure. Um, there's also plenty of uh, groups and forums on Facebook and plenty of resellers on Instagram that you can ask about authenticating and probably get a really great and probably get some feedback about whether or not things are authentic. So that concludes my video. As I said, I'm going to upload a second part once I get a hold of a lot and I'm going to unbox it with you, show you what I got, show you how to uh, list everything, how I'm going to go about listing it uh, and just kind of share with you the results and how it works. If you guys love this video, don't forget to get a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time.